Two months ago, the Baltimore Orioles demoted the game's top prospect, Jackson Holiday, back down to AAA Norfolk to make some adjustments following a 2-for-34 start at the plate to begin his major league career. Citing the need for every day at bats, Orioles general manager Mike Elias expects Jackson Holiday to be back in the big leagues soon. In the meantime, Holiday has become the everyday second baseman for the AAA Norfolk Tides. So how exactly has Holiday been doing at the plate since his demotion back to AAA? As of the making of this video, Jackson Holiday is 44 for 174 with 6 home runs, 16 doubles, 22 singles, an impressive 58 walks, and 54 strikeouts in his at-bats back in AAA. Let's dive into the numbers, but before we do, if you could please do me a quick favor and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any updates on Jackson Holiday while he's down in the minors. I know it can be tedious to try and find minor league stats, so I want to make this channel a place where you can come to get those updates. I'll be keeping you all in the loop with how things are going for Holiday and when we can expect him to make his return to the major leagues. Back to business, in order of his 49 games back in AAA, here are his stats. I have been doing these game by game, but since he's played in so many games now, I'm taking them in chunks of five. Games one through five, he went four for 20, which is a 200 batting average, with two doubles, two singles, six walks, and one strikeout. So a little light on the hits, but his on-base percentage was up due to all those walks. Then he caught fire. Game 6 through 10, 6 for 17, which is a 353 batting average with a home run, two doubles, three singles, six walks, and five strikeouts. The home run was his first since before his call up on April 10th, so it had been a full month since his last homer at the time. Games 11 through 15 were again a little bit slower when it comes to the hits, just 3 for 19, which is a 158 batting average with three singles, four walks, and six strikeouts. Games 16 through 20, five for 22, which is a 227 clip with another home run, double, three singles, four walks, and seven strikeouts. So as you can see, a little bit of inconsistency there for Jackson. Taking a look at games 21 through 25, four for 20, which is a 200 batting average with another home run, a double, two singles, six walks, and eight strikeouts, a lot of these at-bats ending in either walks or strikeouts. Games 26 through 30 were nice, 7 for 16, which is a 438 batting average with another home run, two doubles, four singles, four walks, and six strikeouts. Games 31 through 35, 4 for 15, which is a 267 batting average with two doubles, two singles, five walks, and four strikeouts. Games 36 through 40, 3 for 18 with a home run, a double, a single, 7 walks, and 7 strikeouts. Then Jackson got injured. He was on the shelf for a few weeks, finally returning to action for games 41 through 45, where he went 4 for 16, which is a 250 batting average with yet another home run, a double, two singles, 6 walks, and 6 strikeouts, and most recently, Games 46 through 49, 4 for 11, a 363 batting average with three doubles, one single, nine walks, and four strikeouts. So again, overall 44 for 174, which is good for a 252 batting average. As the sample sizes began to increase, we are seeing Jackson finally start to get back into his groove with some improved stats here as of late. Taking a look at his strikeout numbers, which has been something that I've kept my eye on with how often he was going down on strikes in the majors. His 54 strikeouts since his demotion equates to a 31% strikeout rate. While this is technically an improvement on the 53% figure he had in the major leagues, that number's still a little elevated for me. If he can get that down around the mid-20s, that's more where we want to see it for Jackson. So are all these stats going to get Jackson Holiday back in the big leagues anytime soon? Probably not, although I do feel like there's been some improvements as of late. 
I do feel that he's probably going to need to put up some better stats more consistently over the coming weeks to get the promotion. There's certainly been flashes of promise. He's shown the ability to lay off a lot of tough pitches and draw all those walks. And of course, with the six home runs he's hit as well, if he can get the consistency going, it will just be a matter of time before the Orioles' top prospect is back in the major leagues. And as I've mentioned before, the thing about it is while Jackson continues to get back into his groove at the minor league level, the Orioles continue to win at the major league level, really eliminating the need to try to rush Jackson back up to provide some kind of a spark. And that's why I've always kind of felt that this would be a little bit more of an extended stay down in AAA for Jackson. The Orioles really want to get Holiday consistent every day at bats and reassess every few weeks. I wouldn't be surprised if it is another couple of months before we see Jackson Holiday back in the big leagues. We may honestly be looking at a September call-up type deal at this point. And personally, I feel that that's the best thing for his career right now, just to continue to take the pressure off of himself, getting back to the basics, and the success will come. As I like to say, it's not a matter of if we will see Jackson Holiday back in the big leagues, just when. As I mentioned, I'll be keeping you guys updated with how Jackson Holiday is performing in the minors in the weeks ahead, so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. Be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications to save yourselves the trouble of going and trying to find it yourselves. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button and feel free to leave a comment as well. It helps me out a bunch. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. I'll catch you all in the next one.